So, you guys got big plans for Harry's birthday? Yeah, we're thinking a mud pit birth reenactment and a baby drumming circle. So the usual stuff. Hey, you know what's fun? I mean, it, it's kind of corny, but, but my parents would always get this clown. Oh, Greg. A clown is a cruel exaggeration of unfortunate deformities, and the pain of his condition is masked by that grotesque, painted smile. Well, no, don't get that one. So when's the party? Saturday. It's a week from Saturday. Well, that's still technically a Saturday. Oh, no, Greg's not going to be able to make it. He and his father... Oh, my, oh, my eye. Uh, something in my eye. Uh, Dharma, move up. Can you believe he's won already? He must be doing something right, because he doesn't look it. Dharma, I don't think we should tell them about my fishing trip. What's wrong with your eye? I poked it when I said my eye, my eye. I think we should just tell Abby that, that Dad and I are going on a, a business trip. Because we're going deep sea fishing. That's killing fish. And isn't Abby going to have a problem with that? No. Indians fish. Bears fish. I'm sure she'll be fine with this. Yeah, but why take the chance? Let's just make something up. Honey, I have never lied to my parents, and I don't want to start now. Is everything okay? Yes, Abby. <laughs> the reason Greg can't go a week from Saturday is because he and his father are going deep sea fishing. Fishing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pulling defenseless, beautiful sea creatures out of their homes with hooks and, and the flopping of terrified fish eyes asking, why? Why? Oh, Larry! Did you want to mention the Indians? <laughs> Smokes Aquanet hairspray and Intimates coffee cake. Either Bubby Finkelstein is coming or you've fallen off a whole bunch of different wagons here. Your grandmother is coming in for Harry's birthday. She surprised us with this news last night. Abby, where's the quilted toilet paper? You know my needs quilted toilet paper. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Larry. I'll pick some up. I keep forgetting your mother is such a delicate woman. And you got the wrong denture cleaner. She needs the one for smokers. Okay. I'll pick some up when I go out to get the uh, bulk laxative, not chalky tasting, my choice. Abby, you're stressing. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, this probably isn't the best time to bring this up, but... What? I really need to talk to you about Greg. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry I was so upset That's with okay. him. That's okay. It's just what he's doing is such a horrible thing, you know? I was up all last night, Derma, thinking about those beautiful fish. I know, the and looks, the, yeah. the flopping, I know. <laughs> but, Abby, you know that Greg is a good guy. Yeah. He's just a little different from us. You know, these are the customs of his tribe, right? You know? He goes fishing, he plays the paintball warrior game, he belongs to a country Wait, 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 club. he plays the paintball warrior game? Not a lot, a little. And he's not good at it. I think he's a field medic, actually. No, Dharma, he celebrates violence as a game? Oh, listen. You know, honey... I have never said anything about the things Greg does. His job, the leather shoes that he wears. But, you know, look what he's doing to you, honey. He's just lured you into a world of credit cards and lamb chops. You know, I, I saw him the other day hold a door open for you. I mean, is this really the man that you want to have your children with? I'm sorry. But you want me to leave my husband because he goes fishing? I can live with the other things, Dharma, but now he has blood on his hands. <laughs> it's fish blood. What you decide to do is, of course, your own business, but uh, he's not welcome in my house. Indians fish! <laughs> Should I have Celia pack your glasses in your sports watch, or should we just throw them in the ocean and save you the trouble? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I'll miss you, dear. <laughs> Hey, Dad, I think I'm going to go with the downrigger and the 40-pound lead core. Yeah, you go with the 40-pound core, I'll go with the 100-proof scotch. <laughs> now, you make sure he packs that carefully. I do not want him drinking beer. Here they are. Hello. Hey. Hi. Miss Montgomery, you have a telephone call. Oh, thank you, Celia. Oh, Edward, I almost forgot. I bought you a fishing vest. I want you to try it on. It's from Neiman Marcus. Do not get it wet. <laughs> so, how'd it go with Abby? Pretty good. Grandma's coming to visit, you're banned from the house, and I'm supposed to think about leaving you, but that part's up to me. I'm just going fishing for crying out loud. Well, it is possible that Abby's a little on edge because of Bubby. Well, there. Yeah. You know what I think might help a little and just kind of smooth everything over? What? Don't go fishing. <laughs> Look, Dad and I love this trip. We haven't been in a couple of years, and it's the only thing that we do together, just him and me. Well, okay. You want to spend time with your dad on a boat? That's fine. You don't have to fish. You can pretend to be pirates. Or Tom and Huck on the Big Muddy. Or go whale watching. People enjoy whale watching. Dharma, I'm sure that Abby will get over this. Besides, if this turns into some kind of whale watching trip, my mother's going to want to go. What? <laughs> Just making a point, Dad. Well, don't do it again. You gave me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Larry, got a minute? Sure, Pumpkin. I'm just puttering. <laughs> Can you reach in that toolbox and pass me the garlic salt? <laughs> so what's going on? Well, you know, Greg's leaving on this fishing trip tomorrow. Yeah, I know. That's got to be a lot of fun. <laughs> well, yeah, except Abby's kind of having a problem with it. She sure is. I don't know what to do, Larry. I mean, she's serious about this. She's painting him out of the mural in the bathroom. <sighs> I know. But she hasn't sanded him off the family totem pole. You think she'll ever get over this? Sure she will. Abby is very reasonable. You know, she used to have big problems with my mother. But now, Bobby gets to visit. She gets to stay up to three days, and she can even have brisket. As long as it's never in the house. Crap, the alarm didn't go off. I shut it off. I don't want you to go fishing. <laughs> How did you do this without waking me up? You unroll the duct tape on the snores? <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> Obviously, this is not the first time you've been duct taped to a bed. Dharma, I'm going fishing. All right. Just read you a little something first. The grizzled fishermen return in their dirty station wagon. The fish, broken and bleeding, strapped to their fender. The young are without mothers to suckle them. This is about deer, honey. You crossed out deer and you wrote fish. I couldn't find anything about fishing. It's basically the same thing. I gotta go. I will call you tonight. You, you, you are not going. You are not going. Is that, is that an anchovy? Are you throwing anchovies at me? They're sardines. Tommy, you do know that you're being ridiculous. Of course I know I'm being ridiculous, but I cannot spend the rest of my life not being able to have my husband and my mother in the same room. Come on, Greg. It's just a stupid fishing trip. Which, for the record, I did not want to tell your mother about. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Okay, look, I'm absolutely not supposed to tell you this, but the truth is, my father and I don't go deep-sea fishing. What do you mean you don't go deep-sea fishing? We go somewhere else. Where do you go? I can't tell you. I made a promise to my father, and I can't break that promise, but I give you my word, and you can truthfully tell your mother that I'm not fishing. You're just gonna have to... Trust me on this. Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. Now tell me where you're going. I love you. If you're not back in seven years, I'm moving on with my life. <laughs> How about some dessert, huh? A little creme brulee or tiramisu, maybe another steak? Remember, this is my treat. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm as full as a tick. 
I'll just get something to take home. <laughs> so, uh, I guess Greg pretty much tells you everything that goes on in his life, right? Okay. <laughs> Listen, Dharma, if you found some panties in the car, those are mine. Pete, I just want to know where he went this weekend. And he didn't tell you? No. Listen, Dharma, Greg's my best friend. I, I'm a little uncomfortable you bribing information out of me. All right, fine. <laughs> Sorry. Separate checks, please. No, you can do it. I'm just saying I'm a little uncomfortable with it. All right. You didn't hear it from me. But every few years, Greg and his dad... Yeah? They go deep sea fishing. No, they don't, Pete. It's just a cover for what they really do. Oh, good. I'm starting to feel bad about ratting them out there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hang on there, Mr. Cheesecake. How about that one in a hat box, yeah. Yeah. Kitty! Oh, hi, Celia. Mrs. Darman, what are you doing here? I just really need to talk to Kitty. Is she here? Nope. I don't see her, and you don't see me. Bye-bye. <laughs> And last year, Celia and I had the pool redone. All new tile. Hi, Miguel. I haven't seen you in a while. ¿Cómo está? Ah, bien, gracias. These are our friends, the Guzmans. Hello. Hi. This is our neighbor, Dharma. She's looking for her dog, but it is not here. We'll keep our eyes open for her. Bye-bye. Celia. <laughs> Miguel, why don't you show our guests uh, your uh, cigar collection in the den? In the den? The dark room with the, with the wood. Ah, see, ah, ah. Celia, what's going on? Where's Kitty? I cannot tell you. Celia, I need to find out where Greg really is, and I'm hoping that if I can talk to Kitty, I can figure it out. Mrs. Montgomery doesn't know anything, and she must never know. What do you mean? Ah, this is how it works. The men say they're going fishing, but they're really going to Las Vegas for girly shows. They're in Vegas? Yes, and Mrs. Montgomery uses that time to sneak off and get a little talk. <laughs> this time is her bottom. Really? Yes, but if Mrs. Montgomery knew that they were in Vegas looking at boom, 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 she might have a problem. And no trip for them, no trip for her, and Miguel and I wouldn't have our poolside vacation. I... Mi amor, I forget, since the remodel, where is the den, upstairs or downstairs? Momentito, mi amor. Do we have an understanding here? Yes, I promise to keep my dog in the yard from now on. <laughs> it was very nice to meet you. Celia and Miguel are such great neighbors. <laughs> we were so happy when they bought the house from the Montgomery's. Talk about snobs, okay, right, Celia? <laughs> Hey, Larry. Do me a favor. Sit in this couch and see if any fuzz sticks to your pants. Your Bobby hates that. I already cleaned the couch, Larry. I know, sweetie. It looks great. Just sit. <laughs> Listen, I need to ask you a question. It turns out Greg didn't go fishing. Oh, well, that's good news. How do you think Abby would feel about him being in Vegas checking out topless shows? Well, this is a tricky one. Yeah. She might see it as the exploitation of women's bodies by men. On the other hand, it could be women empowering themselves by taking control of their sexuality. Right. So which way do you think she'd go on it? Not a clue. But either way, she's going to feel very strongly about it. Thanks, Larry. Boy, I can't believe they went to Vegas and they didn't invite me. I thought we were friends. I should say something about no, it. No, 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 don't. Do that. Um, because it's just Edward, Edward and Greg are a little embarrassed about what they do there. Strippers. I've seen strippers. Yeah, but they're not regular strippers. No, Edward has a, um, Edward has a thing. What kind of thing? <sighs> he likes them heavy. What? <laughs> Yeah, heavy and Slavic and, you know, there's a little thing going on here. Whoa, Vegas has changed. I'm done in the kitchen, Larry, if you'd like to check my work. Oh, sweetie, the place looks terrific. Uh -oh. Ma's gonna love it. I'll take one quick look. Hey, Abby, 
great news. It turns out Greg is not fishing. Oh? No, that's just a cover for Kitty's benefit. Oh. Yeah, what they really do is he and Edward go to Las Vegas. Oh. Vegas? Why on earth do they go to Las Vegas? They go to see... a doctor. <laughs> for Edward. A specialist. Oh. Why can't they tell Kitty? Because Edward is a little self-conscious about it. It's in a delicate area. Is it his colon? Yes. <laughs> I think that was my favorite show so far. It had everything. Uh, magicians, topless women. How funny was it when that orangutan gave you the finger? Man, huh? <laughs> Every time we go, Dad. Hello? Hi, honey. Oh, Dharma, hi. Hey, Dharma. You wouldn't believe the fish we've been catching from the ocean. Greg, listen, I know you're in Las Vegas. Oh, uh, uh, look, look, Dad, a bar. Oh, son of a gun. <laughs> uh, honey, how'd you, how did you find out? Doesn't matter. Now, listen, Abby changed Harry's birthday party till Sunday night so you can make it. So she's changed her mind about the fishing? Well, you're not fishing. Unless you talk to Kitty. But when you talk to Abby, you're in Vegas seeing a doctor for Edward who's getting his annual colonoscopy, which he doesn't want Kitty to know about, so he needs you there to lean on, emotionally, not while they're doing it. Uh, and when you talk to Larry, you're in Las Vegas seeing girly shows, but only ones featuring large Slavic women. I'm, you might want to think up some show titles, because all I could come up with was the Moss Cows. So we've uh, changed our mind about the lying thing? I'm just trying to cover your ass, Greg. And your dad's, and your mom's. By the way, don't stare at your mom's. I try not to. Okay, good. I love you. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey, look at this. They got a naked lady ventriloquist. <laughs> I bet she does that just so you don't watch her mouth. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Abby, I can't tell you how delighted I am you've reached some sort of a detente with Gregory. Oh, well, Kitty, I was acting a little silly, and I didn't realize how much Edward needed this uh, fishing expedition. <laughs> Far so good. I guess. Uh, where's your grandmother? She's out back smoking and eating brisket. <laughs> My mom asked. She has a headache and she went to lie down. Hey, Ed. Listen, Ed, I just want you to know I am totally cool with you not inviting me on your fishing trip. I mean, personally, I don't go for the big ones. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. They are something to see. Arching their back, their tails up in the air. There was one there that almost broke the pole. <laughs> You're really into that. Oh, there's nothing like wrestling a really big one. <laughs> I, I worked up a sweat with a 300-pounder for an hour and a half. You wrestle them? It really gets the blood pumping. <laughs> I tell you, just thinking about it makes me a little queasy. Oh, yeah, I used to get sick, too. First couple of times, I actually threw up all over the guy next to me. <laughs> really? Nuts. Yeah. You're telling me. <laughs> Edward, how are you feeling? Ah, better and better. I wanted to tell you that I know about you and Gregory and the trip to Las Vegas. You do? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry. I've not told a soul, and I would never tell Kitty. But I wanted you to know that I think it's terrific, and I think it's something every man should do. Really? Mm -hmm. I've been trying to get Larry to do it. Well, he should. I'm telling you, it's four days he'll never forget. Four days? Well, there's a lot to see down there. Dad, I think Mother really needs that drink. He's on the medication for the pain. Yeah. This is never gonna work. Relax. Hey, Ed. Sorry, I gotta ask you another question about your little trip. Hey, oh, look, uh, uh, more, more presents. Oh, yeah. good. All right, take a seat, everybody. Or, or stand, if you'd feel more comfortable. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I said nothing about the work you had done in your... Back jar? <laughs> Your backyard is lovely, Kitty. What have you had done to it? Oh, she's always having someone work on it. Moving things around back there. Frankly, it's more trouble than it's worth. I'd just as soon cement the whole thing over and play tennis on it. 
So this is it? You want us to spend the rest of our lives keeping all this up? That's the plan. Okay, but again, for the record, if we had just told your mother... Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Have some cake. Where have you been? I took your mother to the airport. Her plane's not for two days. She kept saying she wanted to get there early. <sighs> I was up all last night, Derma, thinking about those beautiful fish. I know, the and looks, the, yeah. the flopping, I know. But, Eddie, you know that Greg is a good guy. Yeah. He's just a little different from us. You know, these are the customs of his tribe, right? You know? He goes fishing, he plays the paintball warrior game, he belongs to a country Wait, 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 club. he plays the paintball warrior game? Not a lot, a little. And he's not good at it. I think he's a field medic, actually. No, Dharma, he celebrates violence as a game? Oh, listen. You know, honey... I have never said anything about the things Greg does. His job, the leather shoes that he wears. But, you know, look what he's doing to you, honey. He's just lured you into a world of credit cards and lamb chops. You know, I, I saw him the other day hold a door open for you. I mean, is this really the man that you want to have your children with? I'm sorry. But you want me to leave my husband because he goes fishing? I can live with the other things, Dharma, but now he has blood on his hands. <laughs> it's fish blood. What you decide to do is, of course, your own business, but uh, he's not welcome in my house. Indians fish! <laughs> Should I have Celia pack your glasses in your sports watch, or should we just throw them in the ocean and save you the trouble? <laughs> so, you guys got big plans for Harry's birthday? Yeah, we're thinking a mud pit birth reenactment and a baby drumming circle. <laughs> so the usual stuff. Hey, you know what's fun? I mean, it, it's kind of corny, but, but my parents would always get this clown. Oh, Greg. A clown is a cruel exaggeration of unfortunate deformities, and the pain of his condition is masked by that grotesque, painted smile. Well, no, don't get that one. So when's the party? Saturday. It's a week from Saturday. Well, that's still technically a Saturday. Oh, no, Greg's not going to be able to make it. He and his father... Oh, my, oh, my eye! Something in my eye! Oh, darn, I'm Can you believe he's won already? He must be doing something right. Because he doesn't look it. Norma, I don't think we should tell them about my fishing trip. What's wrong with your eye? I poked it when I said my eye, my eye. I think we should just tell Abby that, that Dad and I are going on a, a business trip. Why? Because we're going deep sea fishing. That's killing fish. And isn't Abby going to have a problem with that? No. Indians fish. Bears fish. I'm sure she'll be fine with this. Yeah, but why take the chance? Let's just make something up. Honey, I have never lied to my parents, and I don't want to start now. Is everything okay? Yes, Abby. <laughs> the reason Greg can't go a week from Saturday is because he and his father are going deep sea fishing. Fishing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pulling defenseless, beautiful sea creatures out of their homes with hooks and, and the flopping. Alex Salt. <laughs> so what's going on? Well, you know, Greg's leaving on this fishing trip tomorrow. Yeah, I know. That's got to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Hell yeah, except Abby's kind of having a problem with it. She sure is. I don't know what to do, Larry. I mean, she's serious about this. She's painting him out of the mural in the bathroom. I know. But she hasn't sanded him off the family totem pole. You think she'll ever get over this? Sure she will. Abby is very reasonable. You know, she used to have big problems with my mother. But now, Bobby gets to visit. She gets to stay up to three days, and she can even have brisket. As long as it's never in the house. Oh, crap, the alarm didn't go off. I shut it off. I don't want you to go fishing. <laughs> Did you do this?
this without waking me up? You unroll the duct tape on the snores? <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> Obviously, this is not the first time you've been duct taped to a bed. Dharma, I'm going fishing. All right, let me just read you a little something first. The grizzled fishermen return in their dirty station wagon. The fish, broken and bleeding, strapped to their fender. The young are without mothers to suckle them. This is about deer, honey. You crossed out deer. I'm terrified fish eyes asking why? Why? Oh, Larry! Did you want to mention the Indians? <laughs> Smokes, Aquanet hairspray, and Intimates coffee cake. Either Bubby Finkelstein is coming or you've fallen off a whole bunch of different wagons here. Your grandmother is coming in for Harry's birthday. She surprised us with this news last night. Abby, where's the quilted toilet paper? You know my needs quilted toilet paper. I, I'm sorry, Larry. I'll pick some up. I keep forgetting your mother is such a delicate woman. And you got the wrong denture cleaner. She needs the one for smokers. Okay. I'll pick some up when I go out to get the uh, bulk laxative, not chalky tasting, my choice. Abby, you're stressing. Oh, yes. All right. Well, this probably isn't the best time to bring this up, but... What? I really need to talk to you about Greg. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry I was so upset That's with okay. him. That's okay. It's just what he's doing is such a horrible thing, you know? I'll miss you, dear. Hey, Dad, I think I'm going to go with the downrigger and the 40-pound lead core. Yeah, you go with the 40-pound core, I'll go with the 100-proof scotch. <laughs> now, you make sure he packs that carefully. I do not want him drinking beer. Here they are. Hello. Hey. Hi. Mr. Montgomery, you have a telephone call. Oh, thank you, Celia. Oh, Edward, I almost forgot. I bought you a fishing vest. I want you to try it on. It's from Neiman Marcus. Do not get it wet. So, how'd it go with Abby? Pretty good. Grandma's coming to visit. You're banned from the house, and I'm supposed to think about leaving you, but that part's up to me. I'm just going fishing for crying out loud. Well, it is possible that Abby's a little on edge because of Bubby. Well, there. Yeah. You know what I think might help a little and just kind of smooth everything over? What? Don't go fishing. <laughs> Look, Dad and I love this trip. We haven't been in a couple of years, and it's the only thing that we do together, just him and me. Well, okay. You want to spend time with your dad on a boat? That's fine. You don't have to fish. You can pretend to be pirates. <laughs> or Tom and Huck on the Big Muddy. <laughs> or go whale watching. People enjoy whale watching. <laughs> Dharma, I'm sure that Abby will get over this. Besides, if this turns into some kind of whale-watching trip, my mother's gonna want to go. What? <laughs> Just making a point, Dad. Well, don't do it again. You gave me the heebie-jeebies. Hey, Larry, you got a minute? Sure, Pumpkin. I'm just puttering. Can you reach in that toolbox and pass me the garbage?